In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bridge from the Ethereum network over to the Solana network using an app called Rocket Exchange. And what I really liked about this method of bridging between Ethereum and Solana is it doesn't require you to already have any soul in your Solana wallet. You can populate a new wallet for the first time. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. Although I'll talk about several different cryptocurrencies, I'm not suggesting that you do or do not invest in any of them. This is entirely educational about how to use those networks. Now, let's get into the video. First, a little background about why exactly I'm bridging over to Solana because truthfully, I hadn't used this network in a while. And the answer is that this article came out just a couple days ago that Visa tapped Solana to widen its USDC payment capability. And for those of you who don't know anything about the Solana blockchain, what it stands out with is first, it can process a lot of transactions. So millions and millions of transactions it can process in a very short period of time. And second, it's extremely cheap. In fact, it's even cheaper than the traditional financial system. So you can transfer basically an unlimited quantity of money on Solana and pay a fraction of a penny for a price. And so it's really interesting that you have these traditional payment providers that are starting to explore Solana for payments. I think stable coins are one of the killer use cases of crypto because for people around the world, it's the easiest way to access the dollar. So I said, okay, it's time for me to start checking out the Solana network and exactly what I can do on there again. And the first step is getting some funds. And so the first thing that you'll need if you want to get onto Solana is a wallet that's compatible with Solana. I decided to use Phantom. You can get it in the Chrome web store. I use Brave browser, but you can also use it on Chrome, of course. And this video, I'm not going to go through a full tutorial on how to install Phantom. I'll refer you to look up another video for that. This video already assumes you have a Phantom wallet, but I'll show you how to deposit soul into your phantom wallet for the first time and the website that i'm going to use to deposit onto phantom is rocket x the website is rocketx.exchange and i'll link it down in the description and please note that the link i have in the description is an affiliate link although i don't have any other affiliation with this app but if you find these videos helpful please consider using the affiliate link since it really helps to support the channel now once you're on rocket x exchange uh, this part isn't entirely intuitive. What you're going to click on is actually trade and now because the way they have their whole app set up is it's basically like a cross chain swap. So it feels like you're swapping an asset on Ethereum. In this case, I'll use ETH and you're swapping that asset for Sol on Solana. So we click on trade now and it brings us to this interface here where you see swap, you see referral, you see analytics, you see help, etc. And by default, mine is actually showing what we want, which is swapping ETH on Ethereum over to Sol on Solana. However, if yours doesn't show that, then you're gonna click on the top thing here and make sure it's the network that you're swapping from. Could be Bitcoin. In our case, we're gonna do Ethereum and then choose the asset that you wanna send. Could do USDT, could do USDC, but I'm gonna send ETH. And then for the network that you're sending it to here on the bottom, you're gonna wanna select Sol. And so first thing is you're going to select Solana and here it's really important. There are other assets you could send over, right? You could send over stable coins. However, you want to send over Sol. And the reason for this is that you need Sol to pay for transactions on the Solana network. Anytime you make a transaction, even though the fee is going to be minimal, you know, maybe a tenth of a penny, you still need that little bit of Sol to pay the fees. You can't pay it in any other coins. And so it's really important that if you're populating the wallet for the first time, you do so with at least a little bit of salt, right? Even if you send over $10, that should last you basically forever to do transactions. So we're going to send soul over and now you're ready to connect your wallets. All right. And so now that we're ready to connect our wallet, you simply click on connect wallet right here, this big button. And first thing you'll need to do is connect your Ethereum wallet. And I happen to use MetaMask for that. So I click on MetaMask and you can see that it connected it just like this. And this is just a burner wallet that I use for demonstrations. And so the next thing we'll have to do is we'll have to add our Solana network address. You can see this little bar right here. And to get that Solana network address, I'm going to open the Phantom wallet. And you can see here that you have a few different accounts. What we want is the Solana account. So I hover over account one at the top. And this may say something different for you, but for me, it says account one. And then I go to Solana and I click on this little icon to copy it. And you can see it gives me a little indication that it successfully copied it. And so now I bring that over here. I click here and I'm going to copy in the address. So what this is going to do is it's going to trade any ETH that I'm that I'm trading here. It's going to 
swap it to Sol and bridge it over to Solana, or more accurately, it's gonna bridge it over to Solana and then swap it for Sol. And for this example, I'm gonna send over 0.04 ETH. So that's $64, should be about three and a half, maybe four Sol. And as soon as the quote is fetched, and the cool thing about this is it taps into all these different bridges and centralized exchanges. Uh, now we're ready to swap. So I click on cross-chain swap. I have to agree to the terms and conditions, accept and proceed. And look at this, it's gonna start validating the transaction. Confirm transaction to proceed. There should be probably several transactions you'll have to approve in your wallet. It appears up here on the right. And you can see that it's now processing and it's estimating that this will take five to 15 minutes to complete. And now while we're waiting, one thing that's important to note is that if you need to click away from this page, that's okay, it's not gonna stop swapping, you're not gonna lose your funds. Uh, you can check on the process at any time by clicking on this history page right here. And so if I go to this history page, then I can see from 0.04 ETH to Sol, it's giving me my savings and the status is still processing. So we'll check back on this in a few minutes once it's finished processing to confirm that the Sol appeared in our Phantom wallet. After a few minutes, the transaction was finally approved. So you can see that the status changed to success. And then if I check my Phantom wallet, then you can see that there is now $62.67 here of Solana. So it take, took the ETH, it converted it to Sol, it bridged it over, and now I have Sol in my Solana wallet and I'm ready to start using all of the applications on Solana. As a reminder, if you want to use RocketX, I'll put a link down in the description that you can use as an affiliate link to support the channel. For more tools to help you on your cryptocurrency journey, be sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter at dynamodefi.substack.com. I send this out every Monday, and there I include a tool spotlight where I include a useful tool I came across to help you on your cryptocurrency journey that could be something to help you research, something to help you save money, or anything else that might be useful. And if you want more videos like this, then be sure to like and subscribe so you see more videos of mine. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.